Hi there, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. I've got another video here for you today. It's kind of a kind of a like a tip or trick video. <coughs> and uh, I just recently watched the uh, video put out by Boomer Studios Racing about the I and I tricks that you can do. And those are great. The only problem is if you race more than one car and have everything laid out slightly different from car to car, where not where you have more than one car that uses a different setting, you got like your layouts in different places, whatnot. Um, a tip that I added on his on his uh, comment section, I put on there about um, how you can do this trick. But well, I figured I'd make a video to kind of explain it a little bit more. And basically. What you do is once you get your once you get your get a car set up the way you want it, you go into a you make a folder on your desktop, which I'll show you here. I've got one called my app I and I files, and this is a library of all the I and I files that are for each car that I race, since they're all slightly different. I have a light, slightly different layout because of the interiors of the cars being slightly different. And what I'll do is I'll save like. We'll go into iRacing right now. And I'll pull up pull up a car here. Now this is the next gen car for example. <coughs> go ahead and pull that up. <coughs> This will take a couple of minutes to get ready here. Put a brief pause on this while I wait for this to load up. All right, looks like we got her all loaded up here. So anytime you make a change in iRacing, like whenever you go to the options and you make changes to your uh, your controls, for example, or whatnot, you assign buttons or whatever, or you make changes to your graphics or to your t auto text chat or whatever you're going to be doing. Every time you make a change in here, it makes a change to the one of those I and I files. As well as when you go into the car, for example, and you move your things around that, that you want to do, where the, the Alt K trick that they talked about, where it pulls everything up. Once you get it set how you want it, where you got everything where you want want it to be and whatnot, it also saves your uh, like your position in the car. Like if you move your position forward or backward or up or down or whatnot then you get it changed and set where you want after you get all your changes done hit your alt k again to shut it off as we all know and then when you x out of the game and you go to the quit section it will update all those i and i files minimize my launcher there so what you'll do is I got a shortcut to my documents iRacing folder on my desktop so it's easy to get to and then what you'll do is you'll come in here and you'll grab your I and I file your camera file and your rendered DX11 file I go through and I highlight all three of them. And I don't know why these all pulled up on the other monitor. You guys can't see them. They shouldn't have opened, but they did. But I copy all of those. Also, get your core file, too, because that one's an important one. Highlight all of those, copy them, and then move that window out of the way so you go back to your INI file library. 
And since we were working with the next gen car, I go ahead and I paste and replace the files in the destination so that I have the most updated version of my INI files <coughs> st saved in the folders for that specific car. That way when I come into the races for the next race, like say I'll go to the truck, for example, which I don't have made yet because I just bought the truck. I can jump back up here to the next gen, go to my truck, pop back into iRacing, and I can switch over to the truck that I just added. Wait for the screen to refresh, it should. Whoop. I didn't grab the truck. There, now we got the truck. So then we'll go ahead and go in the truck. <coughs> and get everything set up how we want it in there. And again, I'm going to pause it while I wait for this thing to load up. Okay, now that we got iRacing loaded back up again, go back into the test session for the truck. Again, we'll go to our Alt-K. And everything's here is pretty much how set up how I want it to be. Except we'll move this guy down here. And it's laid out pretty much about the same way it is on the other one, but every once in a while, because of the way the dash is laid out and whatnot, you may have to move some of this stuff around a little bit so that it looks the way you want it. So you make your changes, whatnot. Then you go ahead, Alt K again to save them. X out of the car. And this time we're going to go ahead and jump out of the uh, iRacing program again. Go back to our desktop. And I'll close these just to get everything going. Then I'll reopen my iRacing folder. Then I'll reopen my app INI library. Go, this time I'm going to go to the truck, which I don't have presets made for yet. This time we're going to go app, camera, core, and render DX11 copy those and paste them into that folder so now <clears throat> now that everything in the iRacing folder is set for the truck and I want to go back and run my next gen car I just come back up to my next gen folder copy all four of these files And then paste them into the uh, iRacing folder. It'll ask you if you want to overwrite. Go ahead and replace the four files in the destination. And then close the, fol the folder windows when you're done. And then when you go back to iRacing. And you switch back to your next gen car. and load everything up the settings will be right for the car makes life a lot easier a lot quicker especially if you jump from especially if you're doing multiple races in a day like you're running your next gen car running the the dirt car or whatnot and you're starting one race that one and then you, you got another race coming up right away you can just copy and paste the uh, the INI files and from the correct car back into the iRacing documents folder and you're ready to rock and roll Then we're loaded back up into iRacing. We'll go on to the test. And now when we come in, everything is all set exactly where it's supposed to be. It's exactly where it was when I first set this, exactly how I wanted it and saved it. So that's a nice little tip and trick to be able to make things go a little bit quicker if you're jumping from 
one car to another. Have any questions or comments? Leave me, a, leave me leave them down in the comment section, and I'll answer them as best I can. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.